y'all and welcome to today's video. You can see I am bare faced today. We are going to be doing a full face of NARS. I have so many NARS products here in front of me. I want to tell you the products from NARS that I think are amazing, holy girl status, the products that I think are good, products that are okay, and the products that I'm not going to be using today that I've tried before that I think are not worth the money, not good products. I'm going to talk you through kind of everything that I have used from NARS. We're going to apply it together. We're going to talk about it. I think NARS is one of those brands that just makes some really good staple products. Maybe they don't always release the most like hyped color products, things like that. But there are so many things from the brand that I think are just really good core products. So we are going to talk about it today. And as we go along, I would love to know what your favorite products are from NARS, what products you think are not worth the hype, not worth the money. Definitely let me know. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we do not try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, get ready with me's. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week. So if you are looking for new fun makeup content, this is the place to be. But I am ready to put some makeup on my face. I'm actually going to be hanging out with a friend today. So I want to put some makeup on. Let's jump into it. off my face is already primed and ready and we are going to go in with the NARS soft matte complete foundation I'm mixing two shades because I'm kind of in between my winter and summer right now so I'm mixing Barcelona and Syracuse and I'm gonna put this on with a sponge now you can see this one's a bit lighter but then Syracuse is too deep so I'm just gonna put on little bit and we're going to blend now one thing i love about nars is their shades i feel like they have so many great shades they describe their undertones so well in their shades and i feel like i can always pick a good shade and a nars foundation i also have oily skin I live in Mississippi. It's very hot. It's very humid here, especially in the summer. This time of year, it's extremely humid. So with my oily skin, this is one of my favorite long wear foundations. Now this is a full coverage foundation, but NARS makes a range of foundations. They have different ones, different finishes, different coverages. But this one to me, if I want full coverage and I want my makeup to last all day long, this one from NARS is going to lock in. It's not going to move. If I'm working at the hospital and I'm walking a ton, just busy and moving all day, this foundation is going to stay on and it's going to look good throughout the day. It's not one of those full coverage matte foundations for me that is going to start looking dry and crepey. It's not something that my oils are going to break apart and just eat throughout the day. It's going to stay in place and it's going to look nice. Even as my oils come through, they're going to come through in a very natural, healthy looking way, if that makes sense. Now, I know friends who have dry skin and they don't like this foundation, which makes sense, right? NARS does have some more dewy foundations. I really want to try their new light reflecting foundation. I just haven't gotten around to it. And now that we're coming up and it's like hot outside here, it's hot and the sun is out. I'm just kind of sticking with the matte, but maybe Maybe when fall and winter get here, I might have to try the new light reflecting, but look how beautiful that is. And to me, the word matte for this foundation is not flat matte where it just looks 
cakey and dry and dusty. It's a very skin-like matte and you can see that that really covered any discoloration. I had redness here with this little uh, problem area I've got going on. I had some redness in here, down here, but it covered everything up and I think it just really, really looks nice. I've used this with a brush, a sponge, and I always like the finish. Okay, now let's talk about their Soft Matte Concealer. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Now my winter shade is Ginger, and I actually just bought my summer shade yesterday because I'm like, I really need a shade to mix. So I'm gonna mix these two shades. I'm gonna mix Ginger and, oh, I don't know how to say this word, Sur d'Orge. I'm not sure, but this one, actually this one may work well today, but again, I do have ginger that I've been using. You can see this one I've dug into a bit more. This, this concealer is really nice. I'm going to put a little bit of my winter shade on right underneath my eyes like this. I'm putting this on with a Angie Hot and Flashy brush from BK Beauty. I'm just going to kind of tap that in and then I'll go in with the sponge, but I'm going to pick up a little bit of my summer shade here because I don't want too much of like a bright under eye. I want my face to just maybe a little brightness under the eyes, but nothing crazy. And I'll say I'll, I held off buying this concealer for a long time because I just thought, you know what, it's going to be too drying. Even though I do have oily skin. I am 34, so I don't want anything, especially under my eyes, that's going to emphasize any lines, emphasize any texture, settle weird, but this concealer is beautiful. Again, it's that soft matte finish. It wears well throughout the day, and it does not look drying on me, and I've actually heard some people that I know with dry skin that like this concealer too. So if you've been on the fence about trying it, wondering, kind of like me, if it was going to be too drying and subtle weird on you, I say have no fear. But I'm going to let this set for a minute or two. I like to let my concealer set on my skin, kind of warm up, and then I'm going to press it in with the sponge. Okay, concealer is blended in. I feel like my skin is looking so nice, but again... I have oily skin. I need to set with powder. And I bought recently this translucent crystal light reflecting powder press from NARS. Mine is just in the limited edition Valentine's Day packaging. I'm pretty sure this is still available at Sephora. I'll link everything I can down below. And I have to say, if you have oily skin, this is not the powder. This is not the powder. But if you are somebody who is looking for a very fine, pressed powder that is completely translucent. Look at that. Completely translucent. Very, very beautiful. Very, very fine on the skin. And it is a light reflecting powder. So it's not like a matte flat powder. But look, I'm going to run my finger in here. You can see a little bit of light reflecting, but not matte and not white. So I'm going to set my face with this. The problem I have with this powder, and I've been having to make myself use it because it, it just doesn't control the oil. It does not control the oil at all. What I think for me this powder is best for is touch-ups. If I do get oily, you know, six to eight hours into my makeup wear, I can blot, I can grab a little bit of this powder, I can kind of tap it over where I was oily and it will kind of help just make the skin look a little bit better. But I prefer to take a powder that just helps with oil a little bit more, really press it into the skin and then I don't get oily throughout the day. But setting with this powder, I'm definitely going to have to powder in about four hours because it's it's not the one it is not the one to lock in so I just wanted to put that on a little bit to kind of show you what it looked like pressed into the skin but I am going to go in with my Huda powder my one size powder I'm gonna set my face I am going to fill in my brows and then I will come back and we're gonna do 
eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, highlight, lips, all of that together and we'll talk some more about my thoughts on NARS. Okay, I have primed my eyes for shadow. I used my Sigma eyeshadow primer in the shade Persuade. NARS makes an eyeshadow base and it seems to be a base that a lot of people love. No, 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 not for me. No, 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 not for me. I have tried it. I have tried it many times. I've tried it different ways. Not for me. I have oily lids. I know I keep saying that, but I also have deep set eyes. So you see, I have like multiple folds and if I don't have a good eyeshadow primer, it does not matter the eyeshadow, my eyes will eat it. It will eat the shadows, the shadows will be no more, they will crease, they will not be here for long. So, the NARS eyeshadow base, not for me. I know so many people love it, and if it is your Holy Grail primer, you can definitely let me know. Just not for me. So, that is one that I would definitely say is a skip. But, this quad right here, this is the NARS Orgasm X eyeshadow quad. I don't know if they make this anymore. But let's be honest, NARS has color stories like this a lot. <laughs> they tend to bring out eyeshadow palettes that kind of have the same colors over and over and over again. There are no names on these shadows, but this is the palette we're going to use today. And I think the quality of NARS eyeshadows are really nice. Like, I've created some really pretty looks with this palette. I'm pretty sure I have a video up with a tutorial with this palette on my channel. But I'm, maybe I used it in a get ready with me or something. But I'm going to kind of tap out any creases in my primer. I'm going to pick it, the matte shade up on this. Odinza brush and it's going to be an easy look because I only have one matte and then three pretty shimmers to work with so we're not going to do anything super hard. I'm just kind of packing this shade on at first so that I can get it to be like as deep and opaque as it will be. So I'm going to pack and then I will go back and blend. I just want to make sure I get as much color payoff on the eyes as possible. Okay, I'm also going to take this matte shadow and just lightly blend it under the lower lash line and kind of connect it right out here. So just very, very lightly blending back and forth, getting a little bit of this on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna grab this What's Up Beauty brush and I wanna go in with this deepest shade all over the lid. So I'm going to pick this up on my brush and I'm going to spray my brush. Whatever makeup mist you have laying around is just fine. This one from e.l.f. is what's closest to me. And I'm going to spray my brush once I pick my shadow up. And this shade is going to go all over the lid. It's deep and it's sparkly and shiny and reflective. And we're just doing something easy today. So this is going to go all over the lid. Okay, I am going to go back into the quad with a smaller brush. This one's from BH. And I want to go into this lightest shade right here, this kind of pinky tone. And we're going to put it right here for an inner corner highlight. Now, I think these shadows are really pretty, really, really soft and beautiful. But they're easy, super easy to work with. I like that. Now, I have a eyeliner from NARS. I like the NARS eyeliners. This is the High Pigment Long Wear Eyeliner. This is just in a black shade. I'm going to, here, let me grab, let me grab a mirror and kind of look in and we're going to just put this in the waterline. I like the NARS eyeliner. These are one of the things that I would say are good not amazing, nothing that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so great, I bought every shade, but definitely very nice, stays well in the waterline, not tuggy, doesn't pull on my lashes, anything like that. I'm going to line the upper lash line, and I'm going to do false lashes today. I have tried the NARS Climax Mascara. I've tried samples of it and I don't know that a sample is always the best way to try a mascara because 
the wand, everything just isn't really proportionate. So I don't have a lot to say. It's never like blown me away, but I am going to do mascara and I'm going to put on some little false lashes and then I'll come back and we're going to do bronzer, blush, highlight, and lips together. Okay, I am ready to bronze up my skin. I think NARS does powder cheek products so well. Like, I have used their bronzer for a long time. I've panned one of their bronzers. One of their original bronzers that's like glowy, a little bit of sparkle to it. But recently, I've liked their matte bronzer a lot. I have the shade Samoa. So nice. So I'm going to pick a fluffy brush because I just want an overall very bronze cheek. One of the things that I really like about NARS bronzers is they're very buildable and very easy to blend. So I can go in with my brush multiple times into the pan and I can build up the level that I want my bronzer and it's always just seamless. Like it just blends so nicely. So I'm just gonna kind of pat that bronzer on and then I'll go in and just lightly blend. And I just think it gives such a nice finish to the skin. You can see from one side to the other, like with bronzer, how much it just kind of livens everything up. And again, this is not a flat matte formula, which I really like. It's a very skin-like matte, kind of a almost satin matte. And I just think that is so, so, so pretty. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just do one side of my face so you can kind of see like how nice it sits on the skin and kind of the contrast, the difference. But I'm going to use my NARS Orgasm X Cheek Palette. I don't think they make this palette anymore, but these shades are definitely not exclusive. We have the Orgasm X Blush, Orgasm Blush, and the Orgasm Highlighting Blush powder. They love to stick with that theme, but this this is just really, really nice. The NARS blush in Orgasm was actually my first like high-end blush purchase. I remember way back when all makeup artists used to rave about it. It would be in magazines, all kinds of things. That's like the number one blush. And I remember getting this blush and buying just a single and hitting pan and then they have it like in duos with the bronzer and I would use it up. I just loved this blush. This was a favorite for so many years and it's still absolutely beautiful. So I'm actually going to mix both of these shades on the cheek. Again, this palette was limited edition but I know these two blushes are available individually and I think the highlighter too so I'll have everything NARS linked down below the NARS site NARS at Sephora NARS at Ulta all of that okay so the brush that I used for bronzer over here is this unearthly cosmetics brush this is a a1 i really like that when i'm doing all over bronze now for blush i'm gonna use the sigma duo fiber powder blush brush in f15 and again i'm gonna mix both of the shades together and this is a beautiful blush if you're somebody who doesn't really like to go in with highlighter you just want a glowy blush this is going to kind of give you that two-in-one effect. You're going to have a very beautiful glowy blush and if you want to just let that be your highlight, you can see how it's giving such a beautiful radiant finish to the cheek while also being pigmented. NARS blushes, I mean, I feel like they're hyped and there's so many people's holy grail for a reason. They're pigmented, they're buildable, they're blendable and they just have such a beautiful finish. Now I wanna go in and I wanna use this highlighter though. Again, if you don't wanna use highlighter and you just want a glowy cheek product, I mean, look at this glow, but I really enjoy this highlight from NARS. I think it's so beautiful. I'm gonna put this on. This is another unearthly brush and I'm just going to blend that into the cheek. And I'm also going to blend it down the nose on the cupid's bow. 
I kind of like the look of a highlighter mustache and a highlighted nose. I think it's so beautiful. But just look at the difference bronzer, blush, highlight makes. From this side of the face, like it just looks so much more awake and alive and fresh. So I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go do the same thing to this side of the face over here and then we will do lips together. Okay, cheeks are done, let's do lips. I like the NARS lipsticks. This is their satin lipstick. I have the shade Rose Cliff. I am gonna put on a lip liner but this is just a sample size. I really like the NARS sample size. I have purchased full sizes of their lipsticks, but you can see this is just a nude shade. I think it's very nice. Is it anything revolutionary? Oh my gosh, favorite holy grail status? No, but I think they have really pretty shades. I'm just going to put on a little bit of my Hindash lip liner with this. I think they have pretty shades, pretty formulas, overall very nice. But again, if you're wanting to know like, oh, uh, is this like the best thing that NARS makes? I would say it's good, not, not amazing. Okay, one of my first purchases from NARS was this NARS like lip gloss lip cream that was in a pot form and it was called Chelsea Girls. I may even have that somewhere like buried in my makeup stash, but now I have it in there. Uh, what is this formula called? I'm not sure, but I'll link it down below, but this is the same shade. This is Chelsea Girls and I like the NARS lip glosses. I think they're really nice. I really like this color. It's just a pinky kind of nude shade. And it, this packaging is so much more convenient than that pot style that I used to have. All right, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me One Brand NARS Full Face <laughs> video. I really think NARS does complexion products well. That is where I think you get the most like bang for your buck, where you get the best products. I think the eyeshadows are nice. Like I said, eye primer definitely skip, save your money. If you're like me, you have creases in your eyes, you worry about your shadows staying. I think the lip products are nice, but complexion is where NARS does it so well. I think, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do have an entire playlist of these one brand kind of what to skip, what to buy, what to splurge on, what to maybe pass on. I have a full playlist doing that with the different brands. If you check out that playlist and you see there's a brand that I haven't done that with yet and it's something that you want to see, definitely let me know down below. I would love to know what you want to see, what brands you want me to feature. I know I've done Beauty Bay, ColourPop, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, I'm not sure, that, that's, those are just ones I'm thinking off the top of my head, but I'll link the playlist down in the description box for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, let me know your favorite NARS product or your least favorite NARS product. I want to know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.